rides as we can. We have to leave right around 1.30, so that gives us less than two hours to do everything I want to do. But Grayson has an appointment to get a haircut. Yep. So we're just going to get in here and see what we can do. And we might stop at Pigpen's Mess Hall and try the Campfire S'more Brownie. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, there's not a long line. Yeah. But uh, anyway, let's see what we can get into. Yep, see you there. So it's a walking down the main street here. You can see all the decorations they have for the carnival. Carnival, Grand Carnival, however you pronounce that. Very, very Mardi Gras-esque, I like that. I'm gonna try to find our way to the Snoopy, Camp Snoopy area. You see it's new for 2024. Here's a Snoopy boutique. And this is to give you some frame of reference for where the Beagle Scout Acres area is. Just past the Snoopy Boutique, you can see it's right there. It's a big playground that has a shelter over it to keep the kids out of the sun and out of the rain. And then the new Snoopy Soapbox Racers is right next to it. The sign for Pickton's Mess Hall. That is directly adjacent to the Beagle Scout Acres right over there. All right, folks, you've got some ice cold drinks and snacks there. Just next to that Pigpen's Mess Hall, you've got the kite eating tree, space buggies, Peanuts 500 over there off in the distance, just behind that Woodstock Express, Snoopy Boutique. Other places to eat back there, your restrooms. Just to kind of give you guys an overview of what's in here in Camp Snoopy. That way to Soak City if you so desire. All right, so there's the ride. Sweet. Let me see that hat wish. Cars are being lifted into the starting position. Oh man. Here they go. <laughs> not a very long roller coaster. It's thrilling. It's just not, I don't think it's going to be worth the kind of wait time that you're going to experience from backwards. All right, so we rode Snoopy's Soapbox Racer for the first time. And I'm going to tell you, if I had to wait for that any more than 15 minutes, I don't think it would be worth it. It is a very, very short ride. It's not anywhere near as thrilling as anything like Big Bear Mountain or anything like that. All right, and again, new for 2024, it's a Beagle Scout Acres. Again, this is a little park. Used to be like a little petting zoo area or like a theater area, and then they repurposed it for this little park. This reminds me a lot of the little park they have at SeaWorld at Sesame Street Land that he just recently played out a few weeks ago. There he goes. Yeah, man. Okay, cool. That's really loud. <laughs> and there he goes. He's having a blast here. So I really like this little park. It's really nice for the kids to burn off some energy, especially if you're going to be waiting in some really long lines. This would be a great place to take them to get that energy out of them. All right, there's your menu. Pig pens. All right, so this is the campfire s'more that Sheila wanted me to get. It was $5.99 at Pig Pins Mess Hall. What do you think of the campfire fire s'more? It's pretty good. I mean, for five dollars, it's not bad. It's a little bit dry. Yeah. The brownies are kind of dry anyway, so here, try a bite. Okay. Let me see what I think of this. A little dry. Mm. 
I'm not a fan of marshmallow, so. Well, I am. And I think it's pretty good. I think it's worth it. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Grayson likes it. That's good. Mm -hmm. So what do we think? Two thumbs up or two thumbs down? Thumbs up. He likes it. Now, if you want to meet some Peanuts characters, there's a meet and greet down here, right next to this red dog house. Snoopy's dog house. You can meet your favorite character from noon to 6 p.m. Let's see who's in here. There goes Snoopy, he's walking out to the dog house. I think we're gonna walk out to the dog house and join him. Nice. Big smiles. There you go. So while I'm waiting for Sheila and Grayson to get off of the Woodstock Express roller coaster, I wanted to show you guys this little hat that Sheila got for him. You're gonna have to find out where she got this. I'll ask her when she gets off the ride. It's a really cool hat. We didn't get it from here, though. I don't think. I think you can purchase licenses from Camp Snoopy. You got your driver's license. That's pretty cool. Let's see how much those are. What did you say? The hang on? Safety first, hang on, yes. That is a good idea. What did you think? I see, I see. Thank you. Got to have my gun. He made sure that I had my blaster. Don't want to be without that because look at that. That's scary. I have a game there. Okay. I'm gonna. I don't think it's working. No score. Man, I'm out of ammo. I'm usually like the best at this. Come on, man. You blasting? Get it done. Okay, clearly. There we go. Just bad shot. You know, I need my scope. So scary. Huh. It's usually darker in here, so it looks like a bunch of Terminators are coming after you. <laughs> I will never leave police stones out. Never. <laughs> At least not with the money in our bank account. Sir. There will never be a dime left in your pocket. Great job. Please place your boot bags to get the holder and exit question. Wasn't that the Simpsons ride at Universal? This, this yes. Homer said that? Yes. Yeah. That was funny. All right, Sheila and Grayson are getting on the Camp Snoopy Linus launcher. Let's we'll see how this goes. You guys ready? Yay! Oh man, I bet Grandma's hating life right now. <laughs> that would suck. There they go, flying. And as usual, you can't see Grayson. He's so small. 
There he is. He's done Tower of Terror, Hollywood Studios. This shouldn't be a problem, but watch him go to pieces. It's a tidy tree. Yeah. Pretty pretty mild compared to the Tower of Terror, I'd say. While they're doing that, I'm going to get in here to the Snoopy Boutique to check out some of the merch in there. Right away we have the mugs here. Adorable. Number one kid, Grandpa's Angel. Yep, not getting that for Grayson. These little sippy cups for kids, girls and boys. Nice little tumbler mug. $16.99. Snoopy shirts. How oh, cool, they have Snoopy Legos here. This is cool. Let me see if they have a price on it. Cool nonetheless. All right. Classic Woodstock. Woodstock shirt. $24.99. Got a Snoopy display here. Oversized mugs. Look at that. For the weather guy. Today's forecast. 99% chance of sarcasm. Yep, foodie. Gotta get that one for Grayson. That's all he does is eat. Good grief, man. Good grief, it's loud in here. Charlie Brown dolls. A lot of good stuff in here. I don't often venture in here because it's usually really crowded. And Grandma's probably out there looking for me right now. Oh, I love these hats. This is cool. 24 bucks, though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back and get that. That's cool. A lot of good stuff. All right, so the log flume ride wasn't open or whatever they call it now. It used to be called Race for Your Life Charlie Brown. We're going over here to get Grayson the iconic blue ice cream that you can only get at Kings Island. Okay, so that would be the kitty version of the blue ice cream. We had to make it over to the picnic table before that thing completely melted. All right, this first taste of the blue ice cream. It's just regular ice cream, but it's colored blue. Like I said, it's something you can only get here at Kings Island. So Kings Island has these refresh stations here for you to refill your souvenir mugs or just get a regular drink. Kind of expensive. My experience with this has been you will wait in line for quite a while. As you can see, I'd say it's about a 20, 30 minute wait for a refill. And we won't be riding it today, but there is the iconic Diamondback. And here we are a few minutes later, still messing with Crocs and flip flops. Hey guys! After you ride the Charlie Brown log flume, whatever they call it now, family dryers, $6 is out. Well, they made it. We got to do quite a few rides. I was pretty surprised.
surprised with the amount of time that we had. Yep, um, but then, um, if you like these videos, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And uh, if you're interested in Coke City, we actually did a video of that, so we will link that in the video description below. But thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you then.